What's up guys? It's Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com. I've got Miss Spidey here, my G. Rosea, who has been sitting still for a bit. Um, so this might be all you get of her. And I apologize, I know it's a little bit hard to see her because she's in her little dome. Um, but maybe she'll move, I don't know. Um, anyway, so today we are going to talk about something that I've talked about before in another aspect and you guys were very interested in that video um, and I still get a lot of comments on that video to this day. So um, we're talking about tarantula strength today. How much can tarantulas lift? Um, the video that I had done, which I'll link to, um, was about how strong tarantula's fangs were and what they could bite through. Um, and I, I did that after seeing a lot of different videos of tarantulas uh, biting through their screens and just doing wild and crazy things. So I wanted to kind of look at tarantula strength as a whole and just see what I could find. It's a little confusing for people, especially people who are just learning about tarantulas because Tarantulas are big. They are big spiders, huge spiders, and so people looking at them might think that they're actually very sturdy, but if you've ever held a tarantula or um, if you just do a little bit of research about tarantulas, you will find out that they're actually extremely fragile. Um, these are, despite their size, creatures that even if falling from like a little coffee table like this could really hurt them. Um, tarantulas are really prone to fatal injuries anytime they fall. And so their bodies are very, very fragile and they're also very, very light despite their large size. Um, they basically feel like a piece of fluff and air with like a tiny bit of weight, but other than that, it's nothing really notable. So I think that, you know, it's natural to wonder how much could this creature actually do. But much like ants, despite their size, they're actually pretty strong for their size. Ants have been known to carry thousands of times their size, and so I was curious to know if this was the same case for tarantulas. I can share a little bit of my own experience. I am not a scientist, so I do not have any exact measurements or calculations to share, but I can share things that I've seen Spidey do. So I consider Spidey a medium-sized tarantula. Um, a lot of people tell me that she actually looks really huge, but sometimes I think that it's just the pictures that I take perhaps, but um, I don't think she's a really big tarantula. I think she's probably medium size. You know, she's definitely a tarantula that can like fill out my hand, like with her legs if, if I put her on my hand, but um, you know, that's her leg span, um, her actual body, despite, you know, she's got this great plump abdomen. Um, I don't actually think she's very big. So I'm gonna say she's a medium size and I've seen her definitely lift things. Um, she will lift jar lids before. Um, she has kind of stacked objects on top of each other. She's definitely done a good amount of climbing, <laughs> which she shouldn't do. But, you know, I wanted to share this one experience because I do believe that they can lift things several times there size or weight. Um, there was this one incident where um, I had just, it was my first year of getting her and I had a lot of learning to do and a lot of educational stuff that I needed to work on. And so I had made a mistake doing this, but I also learned something. So I had put a scarf in Spidey's tank. Um, it's like a decent sized scarf, um, something that definitely had some weight to it. And you know, my thinking was that I wanna see what she does with this. I wanna see how she interacts with this. And I really wanted to, I was hoping she would make a bet out of it. That's what I was hoping would happen. And I thought I was gonna get some really cute pics out of it. No, I'm also using this as a cautionary tale because you should not do this with your spider. Somebody was very kind to educate me and say that is not a good thing to have in her tank. You shouldn't actually have anything that is cloth in her tank because um, I didn't know at the time, but tarantulas have these little claws in their feet and this could get stuck in the cloth. So um, I learned something and you know, this was in my beginning journey. So, you know, use this as a cautionary tale. We all make mistakes. You know, this is a really stupid mistake that I made and we learn from it. So I took the cloth out, but before I took it out and before I got that education, I did take some really precious pictures of Spidey laying in the cloth and making a little bed, but then, like probably a few hours after I introduced the cloth into the tank, I came into my room and witnessed Spidey crawling up the side of her tank or in the corner of her tank, like upside down backwards, lifting the scarf 
like it looked like she was trying to like lift the scarf up <laughs> towards the top of the tank so that she could like take it out. I don't know what she was doing, but um, I managed to get some pictures and videos of it and I still have no idea what this was about. Um, I kind of take it as a signal of her telling me I don't want this in my tank, but I ended up taking it out anyway. But yeah, this scarf was definitely heavier than she was. And the fact that she was actually able to lift the scarf up and while she was hanging to the side of her tank upside down, um, it probably takes a great amount of skill and strength to do that. So that was kind of my experience and kind of surprised me of like, wow, like this spider is actually really strong despite how um, light she is. Other tarantula owners have seen their tarantulas do some weird stuff too. I've, I've spoken to many tarantula owners who have actually said that their tarantulas will pick up their water dishes and actually kind of like fling them. So Spidey's never done that, but she's definitely pushed other objects around her tank and flipped them over. So yeah, tarantulas do have a good amount of strength. The other big things that I've seen Spidey do is when I first got her, um, I had some fake flowers in there that she didn't like too much. Um, it's only been in the last, I want to say year and a half, maybe two years that I've introduced fake plants in her tank again, but they're plastic instead of um, more like silky plants because she trampled those original plants when I got her several years ago. She trampled them, she ripped them out, um, didn't like them. So um, I'm actually quite surprised that she tolerates these fake plants. So, but you know, there's always room for her to go back to her old ways. So yeah, tarantulas do some weird stuff and actually some very physical stuff. Other tarantula owners, and I'm happy to say that this hasn't happened to me yet. Um, I don't think it can because her lid actually has got this lock system. So I don't think she could ever do this, but for, for tarantula owners who either forget their locks or that they never had a locking system or something, they've seen their tarantulas actually open their tanks, uh, which is crazy and scary. Um, I actually found this one video which kind of prompted me to want to do a video on this of a tarantula actually sliding open their door. Uh, this looks like a pretty sturdy door. Video was by YouTuber Scott Bridger. I don't know if I'm saying the name right, but that's who it is. I'll have a link in the description. Um, so he noted his tarantula moving his, his tank sliding door. And he said, as a tarantula, I have become curious as to how strong these amazing creatures can be. I made the decision to test this conundrum with my adult female Brazilian black tarantula. Just opening the door slightly made her curious and I was able to get the result shown in this video. For saying how much force was needed to move it, I measured the force and it took two pounds of force. So for a spider that's strong. I think that's pretty crazy. Um, very interesting considering that tarantulas don't even have like muscles like we do. They kind of like operate on this pressure system in their bodies. So their strength looks a lot different than our strength and the way that they move looks far different from the way us and many other animals move. So I think that's pretty notable. And I'm actually glad that this person set up this experiment so that we could also be curious and see. And I'm also glad that like they, like this wasn't an accident. This was a planned experiment in which he was around for um, so that's great. I'm glad that the tarantula didn't actually get out and that she was not hurt. You might think that your enclosure is sturdy and that your tarantula can't do anything to get out, but unfortunately, many tarantula owners learn the opposite the hard way. I think anybody with a sizable Facebook group could say that several times a day, someone's tarantula has escaped and they're posting because they're frantically looking for it. So don't underestimate your spider's strength. You may not think that they're strong, but they are and they can get out. They will try to find a way. Like I said, like I've done a video before that talks about tarantulas being able to bite through their screens. Um, sometimes I've seen like when a tarantula owner had a screen on the side of the tank, like and it, it, it's like kind of stuck on, the tarantula has actually learned how to push that screen off and escape. So <laughs> they'll find a way. Um, tarantula owners also post really fun videos of like, um, you know, their tarantula has, has latched onto their tongs and won't um, won't let go. That actually happened to me a few times. Not so much with tongs, but one time I was filling up her water dish with a straw. Like I'll just fill the straw up with water and I'll, 
I'll just let it go in there. And she was actually very curious about this straw. And so she, she grabbed onto it and, you know, I let her have this straw for as long as she wanted it because I was not trying to fight with her about it. She actually like seemed so interested in the straw that like she started to climb up the straw. So I was like, you know what? I don't want to get into a fight with you today. You can have the straw. It's your straw now. And I was actually really surprised at the force that she came with at the straw and how strong she felt in that moment. Actually kind of scared me. So don't mess with your tarantula guys. Don't mess with them. Do not give them any way to escape their tanks because they are a lot stronger than you realize. Tarantula bodies are amazing. I wish we had more research on this stuff. Um, I don't know how you would like humanely test a tarantula's strength, but you know, I think that what the that Scott Bridger YouTuber had done was pretty good. You know, it didn't seem like the spider was at any risk or harm. So I don't know, maybe there is another way to, to test this stuff. If you guys have any ideas, I'd love to know. Um, I think tarantulas are such a hard creature to do studies on and research because you can't train them like a cat or dog to do things that you want them to do. So I think that that's another reason why we have such limited information. But I'm always thankful for the little stuff that I can find on the internet through other YouTubers or you know random studies. Um, it is great to see this hobby continue to grow and for us to continue to learn about them. So anyway, I hope this was useful to you guys. What is the craziest thing your tarantula has ever moved? I'd love to know that because maybe that'll even give us any an even greater perspective of how strong tarantulas can really be and how much they can lift. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you for joining me for Tarantula Tuesday. I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.